You could read a novel by a writer, but it's always fascinating to see the actual manuscript. And to me, an etching is, is really close to that idea of a manuscript of an artist. I'm Stuart Lockridge, and I'm a painter, landscape painter primarily, and a printmaker. What I love about landscape painting is it seems at times to not have a connection to people because it's trees growing on a hillside and uh, you know it wasn't like we built those trees or we built that hillside. But uh, the symbols that I choose to put in have much more significance. Um, when I'm painting a landscape, I might put in a fence as a fascinating symbol uh, and how the fence may fall or be open it can suggest uh, casually just things that the fence is old, or it could suggest a sense of private property. So within the landscape, these man-made symbols become very prominent. Being a second generation artist has had a wonderful effect for me. Terribly lucky. Uh, instead of uh, trail bashing through the woods, I have a path in a way, um, a sense of aesthetics that was there before I even started school. So to have that head start on things, I'm very lucky. Um, like many children, I just drew and drew and drew. Uh, the, the big thing is, is I never stopped. This would be one of the nuggets of my studio, in the special, special spots. Um, everything here is a very private file for compositions that I later develop. I, it all starts, these little watercolors, in this case. I love to be outdoors with a small backpack and uh, taking long walks. So I uh, carry a tripod and a small watercolor set and uh, make multiple studies. I'll just start flipping through some stuff and I will sit in the evenings and look through these and meditate on compositions, uh, develop some with pencil, with watercolors, small oil paintings, sometimes into etching. The studies get put on the shelf. I'm very possessive of them. I pull them out on occasions for people. I don't sell them. Uh, if I have sold them, uh, I miss them. And uh, the studies just keep fostering more ideas. And this is a great example of my working method. I have here the watercolor that I did from life, a winter day, and from here I enlarged it into this study. Once I feel like I've established the problems and attempted to solve them, I can move on to something larger and uh, simply start building it up. Anything can happen, and I feel like they all turn into my landscapes. I'm not trying to copy what I see by any means. Uh, as beautiful as what I see is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going for something that is more of a feeling, more of an impression, I suppose. Intaglio is the parent word for dry point engraving, um, creating incisions and putting ink into these incisions. The mediums of etching, watercolor, and oil paints are connected, I guess, through me, through my love of each of these mediums. I love all these things because I never want to leave any of them behind. I don't want to leave my color palette behind. I don't want to leave uh, the watercolor behind. I don't want to leave my line work behind. What's good about each of them is it, it is, uh, keeps me thinking and looking at nature through the lens of these different mediums. I grew up in a printmaking studio in a way, and I would often run plates 
for my father. And I always knew when I went to art school that etching would be something I'd come back to. The printmaking medium to me is absolutely fascinating and the idea of printing multiple original images. I think adding the people really helps. It gives a spot for the eye to land traveling down this road. It has depth, it goes over, there's mystery. I could work on it and uh, even perhaps ruin it, or I could just stop right now. I think it's good. My dad uh, very much instilled in me a, a work ethic. Every day when I was a kid, he was up and working on something. Um, he wasn't sitting around. You'll have doubts, uh, you'll think some days that this isn't worth it, but you have to keep going. Uh, and I'm too far into it at this point to stop. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.